We are pleased to present Maryland Snap Beds Exploring Maryland Food, a farm to school curriculum. This segment is called The Story of Food from the Farm to the Shopping Bag. In this segment, we will explore different places farmers can sell their food and how the food is sold and marketed. Today, we will explore some of the places food travels after it is harvested on the farm and how different sellers, such as farmers, grocery stores, and food companies market the food to help customers buy it. When crops are harvested on the farm, there are several different ways that a farmer can sell their products to make money. One way is to sell it at a farm stand, which can be located on or near the farm or at a roadside stand. There will usually be a colorful sign or banner letting passersby know there is a farm stand coming up. Farmers may also display signs along the road advertising some of the products that they have to sell, such as fresh sweet corn ahead. This way, a person driving along that might not normally stop at a farm stand but loves fresh sweet corn will see the sign and is more likely to stop. Once you arrive at the farm stand, you would see that there is a lot more than just sweet corn for sale. For example, you might also see other items that are in season, like watermelons, tomatoes, or summer squash. The farmer will display all of the different fruits and vegetables in neat bins and containers that are easy to shop. Sometimes there may even be samples of produce for you to try. Signs advertising the farm stand and the products they have as well as the way that items are displayed, packaged, and labeled are all ways that farmers can promote their products to sell. This is also called marketing, which is how a business promotes and sells products or services. Another place farmers may sell their products is at a farmer's market, where farmers and producers can rent a space to sell their products. Customers enjoy shopping at farmer's markets because they know there will be a wide variety of products for sale, such as fresh fruits and vegetables, eggs, bread, honey, and other local products. These foods are grown locally, so they do not need to travel long distances before it gets to a place where we can buy it. This means that less fuel is used to transport the food. Farmers use signs, attractive displays, special deals, and samples to bring customers to their booth. They may also promote their products on social media and websites to let customers know what is in season and where their products can be purchased. In addition to selling products directly to customers at farm stands and farmers markets, farmers can also sell their products to local grocery stores when they have produce in season. Grocery stores will market or advertise these items with signs, and labels to let customers know that these products are locally grown. Larger farms may also sell to distribution companies that buy produce from many different farms and then distribute or sell these products all over the country to places like grocery stores, big box stores, and wholesale clubs. Because distribution companies can purchase produce from farms all over the United States, we are able to get a wide variety of fruits and vegetables year round, even when they are not in season in Maryland. We are also able to buy fruits and vegetables that cannot grow in Maryland, such as bananas, pineapples, avocados, and mangoes. Distribution companies are able to buy large amounts of produce at lower prices and can offer special deals to stores. Sales are advertised in flyers, store banners, and even coupons to get customers to come to the store. Like with the farm stand or farmer's markets, when the customer gets to the store, they will look for the sale items and then attractive displays, a wide variety of choices, and nice signs may lead them to buy more. Farmers can also sell their products to food manufacturers that use farm products to make different kinds of foods, such as cereals, crackers, snack bars, sauces, bread, and even juice. For example, farms that grow tomatoes could sell to manufacturers that make tomato sauce. These companies will buy tomatoes from different farms in order to make their product. After the tomatoes are processed to make tomato sauce, it is packaged in a can or jar and a label is placed on the container. The sauce is then sold and shipped to stores where we can buy it. Labels and packaging on food products are also used to help sell or market the product. 
Imagine that you are in a grocery store and you are trying to help your mom choose something to have for dinner. You ask for spaghetti and meatballs for dinner and you're looking at different brands of tomato sauce. You might find a display of tomato sauce stacked neatly at the end of an aisle with a sign that says buy one get one free. Companies will also use words and pictures on their products to make you want to buy them. For example, you might find a sauce that has the words all natural for 30% less sugar. Manufacturers use these words to make you think that they are more healthy or that you're getting a better deal. Other ways that food products are marketed to sell is through advertisements on TV, radio, flyers, and social media. You may also see ads for foods and beverages on billboards, the side of a bus, or pop-ups on games, YouTube, or apps on your tablet or phone. These are all ways that food and beverage companies work to market their products so that we know what is available and will want to buy them. Have you ever been watching one of your favorite shows and a commercial for a breakfast cereal comes on the TV? In the commercial, a famous person is eating the cereal and talking about how they eat it to start their day. The next thing you know, you're asking your mom to buy that cereal for you to try. Even if a food sounds and looks good in the pictures or advertisements, it is important to understand what you are buying. You may have noticed that the freshest, healthiest foods like fruits and vegetables do not usually have flashy ads or fancy packages. You probably see fewer commercials for apples and bananas on TV or other screens. The next time you sit down for a meal, think about how each item got to your plate. Consider where each item may have been purchased or how they were marketed. Also think about how far each item had to travel from the farm before it got to your plate. Whenever possible, try to buy produce when it is in season in your area in order to reduce the distance the food must travel before it gets to you. This can reduce the amount of fuel used and pollution that occurs during distribution. Lastly, the next time you sit down for a meal, thank a farmer for your food. 